Hey everyone, welcome to my After Effects tutorial. We going to create dynamic Instagram stories in After Effects. Open After Effects. Go to the project panel and create a new composition. Comp name, Render. Preset Custom. Width, 640. Height, 1140. Set Duration Time to 10 seconds and click OK. We're going to work with this folder called Tutorial. As you see, I already created a project folder called Nike Motion Design. Make sure to well organized your project. Now we need to create a wall looking background. Right click, New, and choose Solid. Change Solid Name to BG and click OK. Go to the Effect Presets. Type Gradient Ramp. Drag and drop the effect on the layer. Adjust the settings as shown. Now select BG Layer. Change the position. Something like this. Duplicate the BG layer. Adjust the same settings but different angle. As you can see now, we have created a wall-looking background. Select All BG Layer. Right-click to pre-compose. Now we need to create typography text animation. To do that, go to the Project panel, create a new composition, and change Comp Name to Text. Change Width 847. Height 200 and click OK. type just do it I'm using Barlow condensed font you can download the font anywhere on the website make sure to change font size to 180 and align the text also now I need to give shape background for text layer go to the tab menu and choose rectangle shape double click to apply on the composition Change the shape name to BG for text. And change the text color to red. Now we need to animate the text. To do that, create a new composition. Change comp name to text animation. Change width 640, height 1140, make comp size, and click OK. Now drag and drop the text, comp on the timeline. Go to the effect preset, type motion tile. Drag and drop on the layer. Change the output, width amount to 400 or 500. Again, go to the Effect Presets, type Offset. Drag and drop on the text layer. Now go to the first frame. Click on the stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Go to the last frame and change the shift center. Something like this. Now select the render comp, drag and drop the text animation comp to the timeline. As you can see now, if I reduced the, the scale amount, it's totally cropped. 
I have solution to fix this. Select the text comp which we created earlier. Adjust the shape. Something like this. And go to the text animation comp. Press S to open scale property. And the scale amount as shown. Again, select text layer, duplicate the text layer, select both text layer and change the position. Press R to open rotation property. You can change randomly the rotation property. I am going to change something like X shape. Again, select the text layer and duplicate it. Pull up above and change the position as shown. So far it looks good. We need to add some drop shadow. Go to the effect and presets. Search for the drop shadows. Drag and drop on the text layer. I need to see the shadows clearly. So I am going to create a new solid background to check the drop shadows. Adjust the settings as shown. Now copy the drop shadow and paste it through the other text layers. Now we need to create Nike stretch letters on your text. To do that, create a new composition. Change the comp name to Nike Text Animation. Width 500, height 500, and click OK. Type Nike. Change the text color from red to white. Select the text. Right-click to create shapes from text. Select Shape Layer. Contents, select the letter N and select the path. Now go to the first frame and click on the path stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Go at 2 seconds. Make sure to select the letter N and select certain points to animate. Again, copy the first keyframe. Go at 3 seconds and paste the keyframe. Select all keyframes. Press F9 to easy ease. Open graph editor and change the graph value to something like this. Now the same process you have to do the other letters also. Now open the render composition. 
drag and drop the Nike text animation comp on the timeline. I want to give some more detail on Nike text. Go to the first frame. Press P to open the position property. Go at 2 seconds and change the position value as shown. Copy the first keyframe. Go to 3 seconds and paste it. Make sure to change the graph value. I want to add the Nike logo also. Make sure to parent the Nike logo to Nike Text Comp so it can animate at the same amount. Finally, we need to add a Nike shoe image. Create a new composition. Change comp name to Nike shoe. Preset custom. Width 640. Height 1140. As same duration 10 seconds. And click OK. Go to the project panel. Search for the Nike shoe image. Drag and drop on the timeline. And adjust a few settings as shown. Now we need to animate the shoe image. Right click, new camera. Again, right click, new null layer. Change null name to position. Make sure to activate the 3D icon. Again, duplicate the position layer and change the name to wiggle. Press P to open position. Hold Alt click the stopwatch icon. Type wiggle close bracket. 1.5 commas 10. Make sure to parent the link position to wiggle layer. And shoe image also. You need Add Motion Blur to all layer except camera. Now select the position layer. Press P to open position property. Create a keyframe and place the keyframe on two seconds. Now go to the first frame and change position value as shown. Select all keyframes Press F9 to easy ease, open graph editor, and change the graph value to something like this. Now we need to create a shoe glow effect. To do that, select the Nike image, duplicate the layer, and change the parent link to none. Press this to open scale. Increase the scale amount as shown. Again, make sure to parent the link to the position. Now go to the effect presets, type fill, drag and drop on the duplicate image layer. You need to find exact location to give glow effect according to Music Beat Sync. Now go to the effects control, create a keyframe. And go one frame forward and change the color 
randomly as shown. You have to change any color each and each keyframes as shown. Now select all keyframes, copy the keyframes, go forward one frame and paste the copied keyframes. For glow effect, go to the effect presets, type glow, drag and drop on the duplicate image layer. You can adjust the glow amount as you like. I want to give little bit amount of glow. Now go to the end of the keyframe, select the image, press Command or Control Shift D to cut the layer. Now finally, go to the project panel, select the Nike shoe composition, drag and drop on the render timeline, hit spacebar button to preview. I hope you guys all enjoyed my tutorial. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel, which gives me to motivate to upload more After Effects tutorial. See you on my next video. Stay tuned. Thank you.